it's all right. I just want to say I'm sorry for telling you to F off out my house. I didn't mean it. It's the heat at the moment, Jim, so it's mm, fine. You know that. I know You know that. I would never talk to you like that normally. No. You know, I do want to say sorry about the Ricky text, but I do feel it has been blown out of proportion. The thing is, because I've been thinking about it non-stop, I just don't get it. Like, I don't understand what the, the need was in the first place. Reason why I was enjoying a text from Ricky, and I've spoke to Jess about it, it was because it was that bit of banter. It was the feeling that someone else wanted me. If it was me doing that with Jess, you wouldn't like it. You wouldn't. Nothing on them texts, and I will go to Judge Judy, and I will get her to prove it. Nothing on them bloody texts yeah. insinuated that I want to do any more with him than go for a drink. Jess is my friend. At the end yeah, of the day, it's got nothing. Mate. He ain't your mate, Charlie. After you did that dance, he said he's gay, Gemma. He's not your friend. I've told I you that. I will make the judgment on that. Get some backbone and start standing up to everybody. They're not. He's not your friend. But it's only ever he's coming from you. Friend. No one has actually ever said anything to me of negative. Oh, Charlie. But they haven't, oh. Gem. But making me fucking paranoid. Don't talk to this one, be careful of that because one. Because I'm looking out for you, Charlie. But Gemma, I've got to make my own judgment with things. All right, if Ricky Raymond has said that about me, I need to ask him about it. He's never said it to my face. People have said things to me about you in the past, but I don't need to say it because I'm going to make my own judgment on you, and it's as simple as that. Yet again, I've come here to be nice to you and say, let's be friends. No, it's because it's not going your own way. You're it's getting me out. It's not that it's not no, going I'm my own speak, way, I'm Charlie. I'm speaking up for myself. It's as simple as that. The Ricky Raymond thing is a separate sideline. Yeah, no, a separate I know. Side yeah, it is a separate sideline. And I'm not denying Thank that. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm not denying that. But at the same time, it adds to the thing of this is why this relationship's not going to work. I wish I'd never have texted him now because it's just an easy road out for you. We move on. Today's a new day and it's a fresh start. I feel sad about it, Charlie. Like these, I can't these, force no, you it, to love me. I can't force anyone to love me and I don't hate you for that. No, but at the same time, I want to be after someone that I've got my testosterone's going mad for, you know. I, I want that passion, I want that lust. Mm. And it, it, I just, it wasn't there. I think we, we both know that maybe it wasn't just going to happen. And, and Categorically, I want a friendship with you. And I think that we can have a great friendship. I think we can as well. Yeah. Because we do like each we other do. in that we, way, we do. don't we? I don't think I'll ever get anyone to draw me again. No, or you never forget that in a Bake home. me a black avocado or... Right. If I could get certain qualities in you and put them in someone else, then, you know, hopefully I would have the perfect man then. And but... vice versa, so... Oh, you don't mean Come that. Come on, give me you a kiss. You don't mean that. You think I'm a bitch. <laughs> You mean the world to me, right? Oh, I thank mean you. I really do.